Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Maybe it's just me, but when I pay for something, I feel obligated to get the most out of it. Uh, a couple months ago, I mean, I shouldn't say a couple months ago, about a year ago, more like it, Taco Bell offered a $10 essentially daily card, like a Taco Bell real life non-MCC daily card, where every day you could go to Taco Bell and you could get a taco up to like a Supreme taco, that's a softer hard shell taco for 10 bucks so 30 days worth of tacos for 10 bucks so if you went every day each taco turned out to be like less than 40 cents a piece now of course taco bell was counting on you getting more than just your free taco um but most of the time i went and i didn't and i don't care what i was doing that day i had to go to taco bell it was in my um creed i felt like i was a loser if i didn't get my value because tacos are normally like two bucks now, maybe more than that in some places. So if you're going to give me 80% off a taco, I was going to go. Even though, if I factor in the gas I spent and the time I spent waiting in line or driving to the Taco Bell, it was a lot more than just 40 cents. And yet, I just felt like I had to get my money's worth. Well, that might seem like a weird analogy, although ironically it is food for thought. But since I have subscribed to the Black ISO store for such a long time, and currently I still have uh, 56 days, I'm sure the Black ISO store will ask me to buy it for another 30 days again soon. Um, I have just been a prisoner of the temptation to spend 300 units on one of these crystals. Even though the Black ISO store has to replace Paragon crystals with these ASAP. I'm hoping this is the last time we ever even see this. And, and that might be uh, kind of deceiving because I don't think they would take it away. I think they would do what they do with this and just um, essentially add in another crystal to the row because maybe some people still want to buy the cab, just like they might want to buy the cab and Grandmaster. I don't know why you would. It's also worth noting that the last couple of times that this has been offered, it's actually been the wrong crystal, so I have to go here and see. It's the Madame Maceville crystal that gives the six star. So I need to go back here. And I know that I'm supposed to look at, is this the uh, the Cavalier symbol? And just, just recognize the progression. But even after the year plus, maybe it's like two years now that they've had these symbols, I don't pay attention. And I certainly haven't memorized them. And maybe that's just a fault of mine. But I haven't done it. So I feel like I, I have to buy this to get my money's worth of Black Ice Store. Even though it's probably just going to be a three star. So we're going to purchase it. And Mama Bear, I'm sorry I forgot to, to, to open this with you on the broadcast. And so I was getting ready for bed and thought, you know, I should open that crystal. Now maybe I'm going to regret it. By the way, who, who who wants to open uh, 300 units for a six-star Drax? <laughs> I mean, Drax is so, like, trash compared to the best Cosmic Champions now. And I'm trying to select the drop rates, and it's not letting me, which is very confusing. There we go. But, like, to have less than 1% chance for a six-star Drax at this point is beyond highway robbery. And I get Kabam doesn't want to, like, price crystals based off of how good the champion actually is. They want to be consistent, but come on. Drax's only major utility back in the day was fighting a mortal boss, and then Kabam made this huge lie on the forums that it was because of frame rate that he did that, and it wasn't consistent, whereas it was always 100% of the time. All right, well, I can't tell you the last time I got a featured or sub-featured, even five-star out of these, but certainly six-star. So it's probably going to be a three-star, and... Um, Let's hope this is the last time we ever see this as the top crystal. Uh, again, I, I think it's it's not going to go away. But we're going to have Paragon Crystals. And if we're spending cash on the Black Eyes of Store, we should be seeing better returns than this. All right, there's Six Star Toad, who would love to come back, but I have no hope that he actually will. And what do you know? It was going to be a four-star the entire time, not even a five-star OG, excuse me, inferior Iron Man. My bad. I felt inferior with that pool. I mean, 300 units. When that first came out, that felt like a fair price. Now it feels like that should be about 30 units. 
It's the Taco Bell analogy, though. I felt like I had to buy it. I had to try it. I ha I'm paying for it. And the funny thing is, now I don't buy these crystals when they come out because it's a waste of units. And maybe I wish I would have had those 300 units back next week when Paragon crystals come out. But I just had to go for it. So let's let this video be a reminder that this should be the last time we ever see this. At least it's the top crystal for Black Ice Restore members that are at least, uh, let's say, Thronebreaker, but especially Paragon. Uh, Kabam's constantly looking for more people to spend the money on the Black Ice Restore, and this would be a, a no-brainer first step in that direction. Thanks for watching.